An old buy low supermarket building is being transformed into a giant O'Reilly's auto parts store. Something that's not really sitting well with all the neighbors there. Yeah, it's getting some mixed reviews. Fox Carolina's own Lindsay Gibbs is live this morning off South Pleasantburg Drive with that reaction coming from the community. That's right, and construction has been ongoing here at the former Bilo. This is off South Pleasantburg Drive. You can actually still see it's continuing on this morning, but they moved to the inside to prepare the store for their opening. But a lot of people going by this area have been wondering what's moving here. Now, this is going to be the O'Reilly's Auto Parts, like you mentioned. They plan to open by the summer. The Bilo that used to be here was one of two in Greenville that closed down in 2019. The other was located off of Wade Hampton Boulevard. It turned into a big lot. Well, the reasoning for the closure was that the stores were underperforming. With buy low closing, South Carolina DHEC declared this area a food desert with only one grocery store option, which would be an Aldi near Chalmers Road that's about five minutes away. We spoke to people in the upstate about how they think this will affect the community in the area. If you take away all the grocery stores, people will have to eat out. And that's not good for either your waistline or your budget. We looked into it. South Carolina DHEC identifies low-income areas with poor access to healthy foods like supermarkets or grocery stores. That's declaring it a food desert. And the map on your screen shows the areas in orange identified as a food desert in this area. Now, according to DHEC, the area north of I-85 affects more than 2,500 people. That's to the right of your screen. In this area, you can also see the new location of the O'Reilly Auto Parts. Now, O'Reilly says, once again, their goal is to open by the summer, but team members from the existing by low store. They're being trained as managers. They also say that they're hoping to hire locally. For now here in Greenville, Lindsay Gibbs, Fox Carolina News.